Toys from the Battle Bus. Never won. And I'm going to do my intro in two <laughs> seconds when I'm on the Battle Bus. And three. Shut up. Two. Hey, why don't I have one? Hey, hey everyone. It is Nick Gay, 30 here, and welcome back to a new Fortnite update. We're going to be checking it out, and we're going to be giving you my... One more time. Hey everyone, it is Nick Gay, 30 here, and welcome back to another Fortnite. There's a lot more to Fortnite and a lot more to streaming than just, are you good at the game? One more over there. Love it. When there's a story. All the way down. From start, middle, to end. Nice, and now it's gonna be a 1v1. Context really emphasizes how good the clip is. Trying to no scope, this is it. Oh my gosh. Oh, he is good. I love this thrill. Tagged him, he's one shot. Full box, I coned him. Oh, he got Full out. Bees. Full box, no. Oh, GG. See you guys, that's why I like Fortnite. No matter what, there's some great players out there. I think- Hey bro, this is just me or he's way too wholesome. Like, no way he just said GG after getting second place. I'm saying it, dude. Like, if that's me, I'm, I'm getting off my setup and I'm like, Fuck this shit. But I love Fortnite. Context is one of the most important things when you're making a good story. Nicholas! I grew up in Nova Scotia, Canada. Hey oh. guys. <laughs> Kinda out in That's the boonies. Not a lot of people to hang out with. You just make your own That's fun so in the backyard. My parents really didn't have a lot. My mom moved from Lebanon. She came here to Nova Scotia. My parents had a lot of different family businesses. From like a convenience store, to a pizza shop, to an automotive shop. In every business, they had a role. They always worked. Nick always worked with us, him and his brother. We would be there doing tire changes, oil changes, putting cars up on the hoist. It's nice to show them how to work. Because life isn't easy. Nothing is easy, Nothing no. Is easy and they think what we do is easy, so if they're involved, they know it. I learned that working hard so was putting pizza something you needed to do. If you want to succeed in life, you need to give it your, your 110%. Yo, y'all are weird. So I remember this as clear as it was yesterday. It was grade one. I was dropping him off at school. And he looks up at me, he said, Dad, what should I be when I get older? And I said, well, you want to be, you know, something where you can make good money, because I said, you need money to live. Okay. But I said, it'd be nice to have a, a job that you can help people too. Aww. He said, do doctors make lots of money? I said, yeah, they can. And doctors help people? I said, yeah, doctors help people. Okay, Dad, I'm going to be a doctor. <laughs> I said, but you need straight A's to be a doctor. He said, okay, Dad, I'm going to get straight A's. My brother, I want to say, is what I call perfectionist. His grades were always perfect, like perfect straight A's. They do not A's. look alike. Prioritizing school was number one for me. I want to become a doctor. I want to try to help people. I want to be able to have the best resume to be able to succeed the best that I could. So I was doing Taekwondo. Ooh. I was doing guitar lessons. I was in the math leads, peer tutoring, student council. And so as you can imagine, it's a lot. For my first year in university, I didn't get a single grade below A+. Nerd, holy sh My best grades in middle school, I think was a 76. I'm saying it, I'm saying it. My best grade was a 76 in math class. Other than that, it was maybe 71s. One time I got a 63 in English class. When I'm smarter than all the English teachers, bro. That's what I hate about this dude. And um, going into my second year, I kind of started to get a little overwhelmed. And it was just nonstop, 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 study, 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 study. It got months. to a point where I was so overwhelmed that I just, I can't, I can't do this. There was a lot of stress on him. I could see it. You did say one day he's gonna crash. I mean, you can only handle anything for so long. I kind of just like lost myself. It was too much. I, I guess I just got to a point <laughs> where I was overwhelmed and I needed something different. This is my room right here. Along the way, I was just kind of doing a YouTube channel. Three, two, hey, everyone here is Nick A30. <laughs> it was um, Nick A30. Nick A30. It, there, it wasn't anywhere near popular. I was embarrassed. I didn't tell anyone. My friends didn't know. When I did my channel, I was trying to be the best version of myself because I was not happy at the time. It was kind of like, um, I wouldn't say a fake it till you make it, but you know how you can become something. Every time I was filming, I would just be uh, be happy, be happy, be happy. And it came across as very cringy sometimes. And that's why I was embarrassed. It was just way too high energy, way too forced. And you could tell, for sure, you could tell. 
at the time, I think I had like 30,000 subscribers around Damn. that time, which if you think about it, if you're really trying to go full time, it really isn't that much, but it was something I was very passionate about. Things aren't going so well. I'm honestly not very confident. I'm not very- At that point, sure I was very, I'm very burnt out. So I needed to change something. I just feel like YouTube is the one thing right now that I'm good at, I'm confident at. There's I know we can make it far so I really, really try. I came to my dad and I'm like, dad, I, I printed Yo. off all the analytics, all the documents, all the videos that I've done. I want to stop university and I want to pursue making content full time. I said, no, I said, no, you got to go to school. At least if he finished his university degree and then want to try to do something. But he's stubborn. I'm stubborn. She's stubborn. <laughs> we're all stubborn in this family. So we were looking for a house so we could have my mom and my dad and that live with us. And as we were looking through it, I looked at that downstairs garage and I said to Blanca, I said, I'm thinking of building him a stream room. And give, I, we could have my mom and my dad and that live with us. And as we were looking through it, I, didn't hear him. I looked at that downstairs garage and I said to Blanca, I said, I'm thinking of building him a stream room and giving him a chance. I showed him the garage. I said, now, Chance, obviously being weird, what do you bro. think if I took half of this garage, we'll set it all up with computers and stuff and you can stream. I'll give you one year one year to prove me wrong he right away he looked and he was kind of surprised i don't i don't know if he knew if i thought i was serious or not. Dad, bro. i really thought he's just going to get it out of his your parents are the only school. reason you succeed at the time i remember like the start of it i should say i agree to his offer i want you to say something that we'll look back at 10 years from now but i knew dang well i was making it and i am Damn. gonna become a full-time creator Damn. i am not taking no for an answer what do you have to say Once imagine my dad never bought me a pc bro and imagine I never paid him back. I wouldn't be here today, dude. I'm telling y'all, your parents are your everything, bro. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta perish that moment, you know? He's in his room recording. Do. Don't do it. Why? Just don't do it. Why? Do you think this is a waste of time? Uh, my bad. Uh, wait, perish. Wait, uh, what's the word? Uh, cherish. Cherish, my bad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're going right down and let's go to Anarchy Acres. I wanna go guns blazing. When I was on my come up, I would be doing a 5 a.m. live stream Whoa! for five hours. Whoa! Then I would be editing a video. I'd post that video. And then I would do another five hour stream to appeal to people in Europe, people in Australia. Damn. And I did that go, 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 go! for a year straight, nonstop, every single day. Damn. I think because I edited my own content, transition point i was able to excel at a much higher yeah, rate so than big most at editing his own shit. i was going through i was editing my own shit too how i got eliminated you get lazy how I was right, other players i'm always in the it's not even lazy though like low key it's i think nick would be would be better if he i don't know dude like I, bro imagine he hired a guy that literally is the same exact person as him that does the same edits i would you be able to get so much more done in a day low key learning mindset as I continued to stream it, I was good in certain aspects of Fortnite. One of them being building and editing. I was so quick at it, but there was this clip. I was on top of a one by one and I edited it down. I shot at someone, jumped up, closed the edit, went back down, edited it, shot. It was just one of the coolest clips ever. That is so Damn. clean. At the time, no one had done anything like that. Damn. It was unheard of. And eventually the name that stuck around was the 2017 Edit God. Damn. I was a squad leader. A little further down the hall and somebody else was watching him. And I remember that night there was probably six or seven people watching him. He really started blowing up. He started getting huge. This is intense. I look at my emails that I had associated with my YouTube channel, my social media and all that stuff. I had like 30,000, 40,000 emails. There were so many opportunities and so many brand deals and so much stuff. There was just too much. And he kept saying to me, dad, I need your help. Like there's a lot of opportunities here and stuff that I don't know what to do. It, it got to be real, real hard for me to help him. And I said to Blanca, I said, do you think I'm being selfish? He's got once in a lifetime opportunities and I'm running around doing policing. So I went to my, the chief of police. I said, I need six months off. I said, no pay. There was a lot going on. They wouldn't give me Damn. six months off. They said they couldn't. I said, I'm going to have to resign then. Damn. So I resigned to manage him. Damn. And take care of, help him take care of his business and you know, his... That's crazy. The rest is history. The rest is history.
That's fucking crazy. I have crazy. to give credit to my mom and my dad. My dad is my manager. That's actually crazy. He's my crazy. security at events. Holy shit. My stream room builder. That. My mechanic on my car. Any kind of problems with the stream, he fixes it. My mom, she's making sure I have meals cooked. She's handling the taxes, managing my finances. Damn. I think the reason why hey, I put crazy. so much work into my channel is because I saw how hard my parents worked. I saw how stressed out they were. And I knew that this could be a really big thing if I really dedicated my mind to it that Damn, could really help out and, and do fire, something good. Dude. That is insane. At I didn't the end know of the day, that. I think that all goes back to hard work, persistence, and put your mind to something. I'd always tell them, you don't know how strong you are. You understand what I meant when he was younger. If you're not trying to be better, then you're 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 not living. Put it better. When I wake better, up, I'm on. editing Fortnite. When I wake up, I'm streaming Fortnite. When I wake Damn. up, I'm talking about Fortnite. Everything that I've done has led up to this moment, and the fact that I now get to be in the Fortnite ecosystem, in Fortnite itself, and see myself, play as myself, to be in game in Fortnite. For Nick, I think it's a dream come true, really. There's a lot of elements Andy, in the icon what's good, brother? that my community <laughs> will recognize. They know me for the, the Mogul Master Fortnite outfit, so there's a little bit of that. They know me from the never back down, never give up mindset. The 100 Dude. player customs that we do with our community to get everyone involved. This is actually crazy. That references the king and the crown on the outfit. So there's just so much stuff. I feel like I'm sharing it with my community, but also my family as well. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here with the icon outfit. I wouldn't be talking to you guys right now. You know, I'm just gonna enjoy it, soak it in, keep on working hard. Everything never that got me to this point right down. here, <laughs> I would keep on doing. Ugh, damn, that's beautiful, streaming bro. every day. This is what I miss, dude. This is this moment right here is what I miss for the fucking East Coast, dude. The East Coast has this shit fucking everywhere, bro. Like Dallas, dude, in Texas, it's just flat lands and fucking no water, bro. This is literally, bro, I'd go to the beach. I would go to the beach every single night when I was in Jersey, bro. And just sit there for fucking two hours and just, just think about life, dude. That shit I miss. That's why I miss East Coast. Bro, what's wrong? What if we don't just say, dude? And never backing down, never giving up. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Frick yeah, shit. Ah, shoot. All right. Hey, bro. Hey, that was a good video, dude. <laughs>